Headlines, a very good morning to you. Part 4 of the state capture report has thrust the ANC into the spotlight, saying that the party and ANC-led government should be ashamed of the alleged corruption that has taken place under its watch. The report, which has officially been handed over to the presidency, says it is important to mention the ANC because it is the party that has given its members to vulnerable communities. In Volume 2 of Part 4, of the report which focuses on the asbestos project and the one billion rand housing debacle commission chair justice raymond zondo says it is the anc which gave the people of the free state former housing mec m7 zizwane whose department allegedly wasted 500 million rand of the taxpayers money South Africa registered 4,954 new COVID-19 cases in the latest reporting cycle. This places the coronavirus positivity rate at 22.5%. Health authorities say two more people have succumbed to COVID-19 related illnesses in the past 24 to 48 hours. This brings the total number of deaths in the country to 100,360. The department of health says there are currently more than 38,797 active cases. Mamelodi Sundowns are aiming to become the first team in South Africa's top flight football to win a treble in 10 years. This will come as a big relief to a side that bombed out of the CAF Champions League last weekend against Angolan side Petro De Luanda. Sundowns come up against a tricky Royal AM in the Netbank Cup semi-final in Chatsworth at 7pm tonight. All right, those were news headlines. Let's take a look at this day in history. Before South Africa's advent to democracy, the Afrikaans language was regarded as the language of the oppressor. It was against this background that students from Orlando West Junior School in Soweto went on strike and boycotted classes on the 30th of April in 1976. This was in response to the introduction of Afrikaans by the apartheid government as the medium of instruction in local schools. The protests by the Orlando Junior Secondary School was among many other student protests that erupted in Soweto preceding the Soweto uprising.